So here is why uh, doing first principle thinking is really important. It's because you don't want to be the monkey. Um, I read an example. <laughs> I experiment somebody ran once. Nobody wants to be a monkey. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So uh, I read about an experiment once where they took five monkeys. They put them into a room. They took a big pile of really nice bananas and hung them from the ceiling. And they uh, took a ladder and uh, set it in a way so it was easy for the monkeys to crawl up and touch the bananas. Then they rigged it so that if the monkeys touched the bananas, everyone in the room would be sprinkled with cold water. Um, and of course, uh, after they let the monkeys into the room, one of them crawled up the ladder uh, and touched the bananas. And the second they touched it, all of the monkeys got this really cold shower, which was a non-pleasant experiment, experience for them, right? Um, then after a while, they forgot about it. Another monkey tried to crawl up the ladder, get the banana, um, didn't, and then they got another shower. Um, the third time uh, a monkey tried to crawl up that ladder, uh, the other monkey stopped it uh, because now they learned that if you touch the bananas, you get a really unpleasant cold shower. So that is fairly standard uh, experiment with, with animals. Then the interesting thing is that they took one monkey out of the five monkeys and then they added another monkey in. So this monkey has not been sprayed by the cold water at any point in time. So of course, instantly, it sprinted up the ladder to touch the bananas, but it never got there because the other four monkeys, they stopped it. Um, and they continued to stop it until this monkey learned that you are not to touch the bananas. Yeah, so it has never been sprayed, but it kind of understood uh, because of the group that you cannot run up the stairs and touch the bananas. And then they switched out another monkey and another monkey and another monkey until they had five monkeys that had never been sprayed uh, by cold water. Uh, but they were all under the impression that you could not touch the bananas. And I always think about this story when I talk to my team and um, I kind of try to force us all to think about the assumptions that we have because we all live under these assumptions that there is things that we can and cannot do. And that for me is actually where first principle thinking becomes really, really interesting and valuable to do as a company because we have a lot of stuff that we're just doing. At 24 slides today, we have a lot of stuff that we're just doing because at some point <laughs> in the past, that made a lot of sense. But then a lot of stuff has changed over time. And it's so important that you constantly challenge those underlying assumptions um, to really understand why it is we're doing what we're doing um, and I always try to <laughs> I always try to to tell my team not to be the monkeys in the room not grabbing the bananas just because they believe that you cannot for some reason right you have to ask the question if somebody says you can't run up and grab the bananas you have to ask them why not and if they say you know that's because you know, we've never touched the bananas, then try it out, test it out, sprinklers might be off, right? Uh, so I think it's a good learning on why we should always make sure to understand the underlying reasoning for why we do what we do.